So let me tell you a little something about myself, Harmon, one of the MedBros here on the MedBros channel. I am a internal medicine doctor in Southern California, and I am one of the laziest people you will ever see. Some of the hacks that I've employed to maintain this lazy lifestyle. One of the key things is to toothbrush at the same time you are showering. Why would you ever wake up in the morning, miserably stand up in front of the sink, looking at your miserable self at 4 a.m. in the morning while brushing your teeth for an additional five minutes, if it's a good day, when instead you can actually take your toothbrush, go into the shower, do a two-in-one, stand under a nice warm shower, wake yourself up, and brush at the same time. Making the bed. I don't do this. Matching my socks. Couldn't care less. Hanging my clothes. Does not happen because I'm going to take them off the hanger when I want to wear them. I don't do things that don't make sense. But in all seriousness, when it comes down to studying, I have the same application of the idea. So with having this mindset, it can be very difficult to sit there and have a not engaging task in front of me like studying for hours on end. It makes it very difficult. And that brings us around to the topic of this video, which is why I stopped taking notes as a medical student. So many people ever since they were younger, didn't even think twice about it and just wrote notes as a kind of studying technique that helped them solidify some of the material. People have different ways of taking notes. Some people would write down the key points. Some people would write down novels on novels. They'd write their basically their own rendition of what was written down in the textbook. So before we get ahead of ourselves, is there a time and place for note writing? Absolutely. When you're sitting there stuck reading Wuthering Heights, Wuthering Heights, the most disgusting book I had ever had to read back in high school, there's no getting around it. You're gonna have to write notes. You're gonna have to take notes on what's going on. So at the end of the course, you're gonna have to write an essay on what you just read and you definitely ain't gonna remember what happened in Wuthering Heights. But let me tell you, at this point in my career, I've completely eliminated the need to write notes at all. This realization actually hit me mid medical school. So I had started out medical school writing notes as I typically did at UC Berkeley, kind of summarizing the main points, writing out pathways, doing all this kind of fancy stuff with my notes. Weren't these super long essay notes, but for sure I was spending a good time rewriting stuff into my own little notepad. So when I got to medical school, I started to write out these pathways, these drugs, their side effects, pages and pages of beautifully crafted concepts put together with a touch of diaphanous adoration, meticulously crafted capicons, truly magnificent works worthy of reverence. But I never looked at them again. <laughs> really, one day it just hit me that I have these pages and pages of notes and I don't have time to go back and go through the notes and I'm not having time to do anything but applying the concepts that I learned through my first or possibly second pass to the questions that I was doing following the review of the material. Now, there are many studies that are being done that these active ways of learning are better than these passive ways of learning. I'm not sure how none of this doesn't just make common sense that you sitting there reading a book is not going to be as solidifying as doing things like applying it to questions. Now research also shows that some of these other active techniques which you will never catch me doing, things like Pomodoros and Ankies and flashcards, they're more effective than these passive methods as well for those of you guys that do enjoy doing that kind of stuff. Big point of this video being how do you get to that point where you no longer need to write notes and that is very key. Is there a time in your training where you're going to need to write notes? Of course, when you're learning Physiology 101, when you're learning the basic fundamentals of a practice, you will probably need to take notes to make sure you have those fundamentals down. But whatever you're doing, whether you're doing medicine, engineering, you're even starting to be a mechanic, even if it's a trade kind of thing, whatever you're doing, once you have mastered the fundamentals you don't need to sit there and ever write notes again because what you're doing now when you've mastered the fundamentals is you're now building on top of those fundamentals. For example, now that I've studied the basics of what benign prostatic hyperplasia or BPH is and there's a new drug that comes out, it's a new piece of information, I wouldn't need to go and write that down somewhere because I already know what BPH is. I already know what the common mechanism of action on these drugs are. If there's a new drug that's being introduced and its mechanism of action is similar to the one previously or I can relate it to the other one previously, I've already got that fundamental base. It's very easy for me to just mentally add that into my toolkit rather than writing it down somewhere. So once your fundamentals are in place, 
you no longer need to run to a piece of paper every single time you learn something new. Really, the goal is to get there with your studies. Then you know you've made it past that first couple levels where you've gotten your base. And at this point, you don't need to waste your time. Keep adding to your base and adding to your base and adding to your base with writing these notes. You're more better off trying to get it up into here now. Overall, best big picture to have with any kind of learning is get your fundamentals down. Whether that means you have to take notes initially, then so be it. You have a paper with things that you forget. That's great. You don't need to rewrite the whole textbook because the key is once you get to applying that knowledge through questions or any other means of application and active learning, then you're solidifying yourself. Then you're going to find you need to take less and less notes and you're more just going to go through and keep on registering this stuff up in here. And with the way the internet is, there's no real reason for you to even have any kind of reference materials of your own, unless, like I said, it's very specific to you if you have a small list of things that you really need to learn. Other than that, you can always go back and Google whatever you need to know because everything is online these days. That's gonna be it for this video, a very short little rant about why I do not write notes and I do not ever expect to sit down and write notes on anything related to medicine, at least. If I do wanna learn those fundamentals and I need a list of things that I keep on forgetting based on anything new that I'm learning, sure, I might write some notes here and there even that is very questionable <laughs> my whole goal like i said i'm a very lazy guy i'm gonna completely try to avoid writing notes on anything going forward hopefully that helped you out hopefully you can become note free as well if you guys enjoyed this video found anything helpful be sure to hit like down below go ahead and hit subscribe hit that notification bell and you guys can cop our merch as well it's at wearekb.com if you guys haven't already thank you guys so much for tuning in and watching the medibus channel we'll see you guys in the next one